गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अरोरा ऑनलाइन क्लासेस डे स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम विद अ न्यू लेसन फॉर यू एंड द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज एनिमल्स इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल पोएम बाई वॉल्ट वीटमैन इनफैक्ट वॉल्ट वीटमैन वॉज अ ग्रेट अमेरिकन पोएट अपार्ट फ्रॉम अ वेरी फेमस पोएट ही वॉज अ वेरी फेमस जर्नलिस्ट and apart from a very famous journalist he was an essayist too dear students this poem is written in free verse so this poem is written in free verse free verse means this poem has no rhyme scheme this poem has no set rhyme scheme so the poem which is without a rhyme scheme is called free verse so this poem animals is written in free verse by walt whitman when we talk about his literary works there are some of his literary works are leaves of grass o captain song of myself so leaves of grass o captain song of myself are some of his very famous literary works and uh, actually what does the poet want to say through this poem as i have said that it's a very beautiful poem by walt whitman an american poet actually the poet wants to say that the human beings have degraded themselves they have degraded themselves to the extent that the animals are better than human beings animals are better than human beings and why does the poet say that the animals are better than human beings animals are superior to human beings so in what sense animals are better than human beings in what sense animals are superior to human beings so here is a comparison between animals and human beings so the poet makes a comparison between the animals and human beings and what are the qualities that the animals have by which the poet is fascinated why is so impressed with the qualities that the animals have the poet says that he wants to turn away himself from the depressing human world because humans have become so selfish they have become so greedy and they have become so self self centered that they are they are only i mean to say the humans are only bothered about themselves they are not bothered about others this is what the poet says apart from this the poet says that the animals have a clear conscience they have clear conscience their heart is pure the animals have a pure heart but the humans don't have their pure heart humans have degraded themselves they have lost the nobility they have lost their humanity they have lost their goodness there was a time when the humans had goodness with them there was a time when there was goodness in them where there was a time when humans humans had the tokens of love they had simplicity they had benevolence they were kind hearted they were innocent so innocence kindness simplicity generosity are the love affection honesty truthfulness these are these are the qualities of good human beings now the human beings have lost the qualities of honesty human beings have lost the qualities of love affection truthfulness kindness innocence and now in place of all these good qualities the noble qualities the great qualities actually ego arrogance jealousy hatred all these negative qualities have taken the place of noble qualities they are replaced by the bad qualities 
the negative qualities so animals is still have the positive qualities there is still goodness in animals and humans have lost their goodness that is why the poet does not feel comfortable in the company of human beings he wants to stay away from the company of human beings and he wants to live in the company of animals he is more comfortable with the animals he is fed up with the depressing world of human beings let us talk about it so here is a comparison between animals and human beings the poet talks about the negative qualities of human beings but the poet says that animals have is still have those qualities those noble qualities let us talk about it the poet says i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained the poet says that he is not comfortable with with human beings the poet is comfortable with animals and he says that he he turns away he changes his position and want to live with the animals so the poet is comfortable in the company of animals why why does he say the poet says they are so placid and self contained the poet is talking about animals they refers to animals means animals are so placid animals are calm relaxed they are peaceful animals are peaceful and self contained self contained means self satisfied animals are peaceful and self satisfied means animals are peaceful and self satisfied they don't complain about anything and they are satisfied with what they have so self satisfaction and peacefulness are the qualities are the noble qualities which the animals have now these qualities are still with the animals and humans have lost this quality there was a time when the humans had these qualities there was a time when the humans were kind hearted there was a time when the humans were innocent there was a time when the humans were honest there was a time when they were simple but now they have lost the noble qualities now the now the humans have negative qualities and animals have the positive qualities in them so animals have taken the positive qualities good qualities goodness from the human beings so who are superior animals are better than human beings animals are superior to human beings because they are relaxed they are peaceful and they are self satisfied but the human beings are never satisfied with their condition they always want more and more because they are greedy they are selfish they are self centered they only think about themselves they do not bother about others i stand so they refers to the animals animals are placid they are peaceful they are calm they are relaxed and they are self contained means they are self satisfied i stand and look at them long and long the poet says the poet stands and he stares at them long and long for a long time and he is the poet is fascinated the poet is impressed by the qualities of self satisfaction and peacefulness of the animals so the poet is comfortable to find the qualities of self self satisfaction and peacefulness in animals they do not sweat and whine about their condition the uh, further the poet says they means animals they refers to animals they do not sweat and whine a uh, whine means cry and complain the poet says that they means the animals do not sweat the animals do not cry and complain about their conditions as the humans do humans have the tendency to complain about their condition because they are never satisfied with their condition isn't it if something wrong happens with them they lose their patience and they start behaving in a very improper way they start behaving in an irrational way they start behaving very strangely and they are not satisfied with their conditions 
So animals are satisfied with their conditions, but the humans are not satisfied with their conditions. Humans always complain about their condition because they are not satisfied with their condition. They always complain that if something goes wrong with them and they always want more and more, they are not satisfied with their condition. If something, if something happens with them, if something wrong goes with the humans, they are there to complain about. Means they are not satisfied with their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and before their sins. The poet says they means animals. Animals don't have to lie awake in the night. Animals enjoy sound sleep. Because they don't have to lie awake. Because actually they do not commit any mistake. Animals do not do anything wrong. So animals do not do anything wrong. They do not commit mistakes. Isn't it? They do not commit any misdeed, any wrong deeds. That's why they are not guilty of doing anything. But the humans, humans commit mistake. Humans wrong, uh, humans uh, uh, do wrong deeds. Human go for misdeeds and their misdeeds, their wrong things, their wrong doings do not let the human being sleep. They feel guilty. So humans feel guilty just because of doing wrong things just because of uh, just because of doing bad things just because of committing sins just because of committing evils so actually the human beings do not enjoy a sound sleep just because of guilt of doing wrong things but animals do not commit any sin animals don't have to uh, don't have to uh, lie awake they enjoy a sound sleep. Animals have a clear conscience. Their inner self, their inner heart, Antaratma, is quite pure. But the humans don't have their clear conscience. They don't have their pure heart. They don't have their pure inner self, inner heart. That's why they fill with guilt of doing something wrong. And they keep awake late night. And they shed tears. So who said tears? Humans shed tears in repentance. They shed tears because they do something wrong. And when they do something wrong, means when humans do something wrong, they feel guilty of their wrong deeds. But this case is not with the animals. The animals enjoy a sound sleep. <clears throat> they do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. The poet says, animals do not make him feel uneasy. Animals do not make him feel sick means the animals do not make him feel uncomfortable discussing their duty to God as the humans do. Animals do not show their false love to God. They do not show their false love and faith to God. But human beings show their false love and faith to God. They, 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 they are greedy. They are so selfish. And not only that, in, in Human beings boast about or boast of their duty towards God. If the human beings do something to God, if they worship or if they do anything for the society, they start boasting about themselves that they have done a lot. Uh, they have opened a hospital for the poor. Uh, uh, they have started a school for the poor. They have donated that uh, hefty amount of money. Uh, for the construction of a temple or for the construction of a mosque. These are the duties towards God for making a temple or for making a mosque or for making a church. Human beings have a tendency to boast about themselves, uh, to boast about their duty to God. But animals do not show false love and faith to God. But humans show fall their false love and faith to God and they boast about their duty to God. And this thing, they are boasting, they are boasting, they are fa their falsehood. The poet says that the tendency of falsehood and the boasting of human beings about their work towards God, as they show their false love and faith towards God, this, this tendency of human beings makes the poet feel uncomfortable, makes the poet feel uneasy. So he, he says that these humans are hypocrite. They do something else, uh, they, they say something else and do something else. So there is a no coordination 
between the thoughts and actions of human beings. They show their false love, they show their false prayer, and they show their false worship to God. Isn't it? They cheat God. And they boast about their duty to God that they, they have made a temple, they have donated hefty amount of money, tremendous amount of money, a large amount of money for making a mosque or for making a temple or for making a church, for constructing a church like that. But this thing is not with the animals. So animals are simple. They are not hypocrite like human beings. They are not, they are not selfish and greedy like human beings. Not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented. Demented means behave irrationally due to anger. The mania of owning things. Mania means craze. The poet says no one is dissatisfied. The animals are not dissatisfied. They are satisfied with what they have. And the animals are not demented. They are not mad. The animals, the, the animals do not behave strangely. The animals do not behave madly. They are not demented. And they do not animals do not suffer from the mania of owning things they do not suffer from the mania of the craze of possessing things in this materialistic world the poet wants to say that the human beings have become very greedy they have become so selfish that they they have a mania they have a tendency they have a tendency to own more and more things to possess more and more things so if they, if they fulfill one dream, another dream is waiting for them. Then they try to uh, fulfill that uh, dream also. And fulfillment of dream, their fulfillment of dream doesn't stop there. It goes on like that. It, it remains unending. This is what the poet wants to say. So the poet, the poet wants to say that the humans are greedy, they are selfish and they are all they are competing with each other in this mad race of purchasing things if they if they want a bungalow and if they get a bungalow they want for money they want bank balance they they want the comforts and luxuries of life and they are running after they are running after money they are running after bank balance they are running after the comforts and luxuries of life and they are never satisfied they always complain about their condition as they are not satisfied with what they have. But animals don't have all these things. Animals never want more and more. They are satisfied with what they have. But human beings want more and more. Human wants to own or possess more and more things. This shows the greediness of, greedy nature of human beings. Not one kneels to another. Not one kneels to another. Nor to his kind that lived thousand years of years ago. The poet says... Human beings kneel before one another. This is found in human beings that even thousand years ago, even their ancestors, even the ancestors, father, father, forefathers, Purvad, even the ancestors of human beings used to kneel, used to bend down before others. But animals do not bend down before others. They don't kneel down before others. Animals do not have the sense of superiority and inferiority. The sense of superiority is found only in human beings. And even the sense of inferiority is also found in human beings. And animals are away from them. Animals are free from uh, the mania of uh, owning more and more things. And they are free from. The animals are also free from any respect. They are free from any honor. They are free from any comforts and luxuries they want nothing so there is equality in animals animals there is equality in animals they they don't and animals are not jealous of uh, animals are not jealous of each other animals do not hate each other but the human beings hate each other human beings are jealous of their fellow human beings they are jealous of their they are jealous of the success of their fellow human beings so jealousy and hatred greed <clears throat> and uh, selfish attitude, all these negative qualities are found in human beings. They are not found in animals. That is why the poet wants to live with animals. The poet is comfortable in the company of animals rather than in the company of human beings. And that's why the poet says that he is fed up in the depressing human world. <clears throat> not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. The poet says, 
that the poet the animals don't have such sense of respect such sense of honor and not a single animal aspires for respect honor and such things and that is why uh, that is why animals are happy and they uh, animals are happy all over the earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them the poet says animals show their relations to the poet they show their relation to the poet they show their innocence they show their kindness they show their acceptance and poet and the poet accept the animals as they are they are not concerned about their social status they are not concerned about their economic status they are not concerned about their you know education nothing of that sort is with the animals but the humans are always concerned about all these things they bring me tokens of myself they evince evince matlab means so so karna s h o w so tokens of myself tokens means symbols tokens means symbols virtues qualities they bring me tokens of myself they evince evince means so them plainly in their possessions the poet says that they bring me the poet reminds the uh, the animals remind the poet of tokens of tokens of myself it's a very important line tokens of myself here tokens of myself means good qualities goodness tokens means symbols signs so what are the tokens of myself myself refers to the human beings myself refers uh, token of myself refers to goodness of human beings tokens of myself refers to the good qualities the noble qualities of human beings and what are the noble qualities of human beings what are the tokens of myself they are love honesty sincerity simplicity kind heartedness generosity these are love honesty truthfulness innocence kind heartedness honesty these are the tokens of myself why does the poet myself because poet is the poet is a human being so the animals remind the poet of all these good qualities of of this goodness they evince means they show the animals show their goodness them plainly in their possessions whatever the animals what is in their possessions animals are self satisfied self satisfied they are peaceful they are not greedy they are not selfish and they have love they have honesty they have innocence they have kind heartedness all these good qualities actually these are the qualities of human beings but the poet says the human beings have lost all the good qualities the human beings have lost all their good qualities human beings have lost their goodness their love innocence simplicity kindness i wonder where they get those tokens the poet says the poet is surprised where from where have these animals from where from where these animals have got the tokens tokens once again tokens refer to tokens refer to goodness tokens refers to noble qualities such as love honesty sincerity kind heartedness simplicity innocence these are the tokens these are the these are the good qualities these are the noble qualities poet says humans have lost their goodness and where from where have the animals got these tokens from where have the animals got these good good qualities of love good attributes of love affection sincerity innocent kindness from where have the animals got because these are the qualities of human beings and humans have lost them and they have lost many years ago did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them the poet says did i i means the poet and the poet is the representative of human beings that is why the poet says did i pass means did the human beings <coughs> the poet is talking on behalf of the human beings the poet says did i pass that very that way huge times ago negligently negligently means carelessly drop them have the human beings have the human beings did i i refers to the poet and poet is talking on behalf of the human beings 
the poet here is representing human quantity, human community means the poet is the representative of humanity the poet is the representative of mankind the poet is talking on behalf of mankind that's why the poet refers to i and i refers to the poet and on behalf of human beings the poet is talking about so the poet says have the human beings lost all the qualities have the human beings lost all the good qualities noble qualities negligently carelessly so the human beings must have might have lost the noble qualities of themselves and the animals have picked up those good qualities those noble qualities so the poet wants to say the human beings are so careless and now their good qualities have been taken away by the animals so animals are better than human beings animals are superior to human beings isn't it they are self satisfied they are not greedy like human beings they are not selfish like human beings they do not suffer from the mania of owning things more and more animals have their clear conscience animals have a pure heart they are pure hearted now the human beings have degraded themselves and they are deprived of pure hearted the the humans don't have a clear conscience so with this your lesson comes to an end dear students i hope whatever i have taught you today you must have understood it properly thank you very much till then be happy stay blessed keep learning keep practicing thank you very much